Hey, you too. Hmm. Just really sitting here enjoying this pipe. Sitting here with uh, Briar Tim. Why are you smoking at Briar Tim? Smoking my Savinelli Opera. But it's some of the Rainier Professional. And I am smoking my Anderson. Mm, that's good stuff. Smoking Rainier's Professional. If you haven't had a chance to try this, it is absolutely wonderful. We, uh, we moved from outside to inside because the sun's out. It's starting to get a little warm. Here in the garage, it's still nice and cool. A nice aromatic during the uh, hot part of the summer is always a wonderful thing. But I did want to uh, show you guys my uh, haul from the, the uh, pipe conference. Mm. Good stuff. Let's see here. First of all, I really hate to have to put that down. So, first of all, I'm gonna move the camera right there. That's good. Thanks, Briar Tim. Briar Tim's holding the camera for me. Ended up with another tin of uh, uh, horse turd, 1792 flake. Randall, I'm about to send that out tomorrow. Um, before I got to the pipe conference, pull that a little bit. there we go. Before I got to the pipe conference, I stopped by my tobacconist. Got an eight ounce package of Stonehaven. I had to put it in this bag here to keep it fresh. But eight ounces of Stonehaven was only $35. That's like, uh, what, six tens worth of tobacco for 35 bucks? So <laughs> that ain't bad. And Stonehaven, if you haven't tried it, it's wonderful. Uh, Rainier Professional, 100 gram 10 um, is one of the samples there. I got that. And like I said, that's what we're smoking. It's awesome. Up a little bit. And, uh, Sorry about that. Let me sit this down. Kind of hard to talk and everything. Also, end up with a Solani English mixture. Luxury English. That is awesome. Um, John, thank you very much. Uh, he gave me a large bag of plum cake and it filled up this 100 gram tin. Thank you very much, John. It's, it is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, um, navy blend. If you haven't tried the plum cake, you should. It smells like raisins, figs. It smokes very well. Just uh, don't smoke it too fast because it is made by McBlowtorch. It'll set your mouth on fire. Also, I got a bag of Boswell's Christmas cookie. Smells like Christmas cookie. Tastes like Christmas cookie. But it's not a cookie. I can't figure that one out. Usually they say if it smells and tastes like it, it is. But it's tobacco, and it is wonderful. So, uh, guys at Boswell, you guys are doing a great job. Now, this one come from Ivan. Uh, it's the Milan. What was that? Milan Tobacco uh, Chartwell. That sample, I tried it yesterday. It is wonderful. Um... I need to actually get a hold of you because I would actually like to purchase some of this. It's an excellent aromatic and uh, I love it. Um, also, I ended up with Mississippi River. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Mississippi River, good stuff. Put out by C Seattle Pipe Club. And uh, of course, if you were there, you got a Brebbia pipe tamper. Made in Italy, Brebbia. So, yeah. 
that was that was my haul. And oh, also while I was there, I bought a uh, tin of Romeo and Juliet uh, Petite Real uh, Reserve Real. Bought a box of those, and I bought a tin of uh, Old Dublin from Peterson, uh, which is Briar Tim's favorite. And uh, uh, Old Dublin's on our top five. I'm sorry, it's an excellent English blend. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. So, that being said, this is video, I guess, number two of the day that I've made. And uh, we're going to be out here smoking a little bit more. A uh, few shouts out, John. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay, was it J.M. Harris or J. Harris Jr.? Um, hey man, I appreciate that tobacco. It is one of my favorites as well. Uh, all the guys, we we really enjoyed seeing you guys at the pipe conference. Um, make plans next year if you didn't go. Uh, anybody want to have a shout out to Tim? Uh, we're going to get up with uh, Pipe Thought next week, so there may be a couple of uh, forthcoming videos with him at one of our local tobacconists next week. All right. Yeah, one of our local tobacconists has a, a really nice little smoking lounge in the back, uh, located in Snailville. Uh, if you live nearby, next week, Wednesday, it'll probably be between 1 and um, by what time? About 1, 2 o'clock. About one, two o'clock, and uh, it's on a Wednesday. That's my off days, so sorry. Um, maybe it, on the weekend, if it's on the weekend, it'll have to be at night. Anyway, uh, pipe thought. We're looking forward to that. Uh, a couple of you other guys that live out in Buford, uh, different parts of Georgia. If you're close by at that time, swing on by because uh, Shirley, she usually has uh, chess checkers, TVs. That's really nice smoking lounge in back of the tobacco shop. So uh, guys, I'll keep you posted and keep them smoking. Stay smoking, my friend. <laughs>